Peter, what's Kelly's eye looking at today in the sunshine? Well, of course, you're in Onken, you see, brilliant sunshine. Um, I'm looking at something which has its base, three legs, and also has a thistle. Yes, it does. I couldn't argue with that. It is a base. It's a base for a statue. Statue, and there aren't many statues in the island. Um, public art is, is sadly lacking. But here in Onken we have one now, and um, a statue of a man with his arms folded, and he's looking out across Douglas Bay, and um, beneath his feet, between the thistle and the three legs, both of which you know have a reason, it says Steve Hislop, 1962-2003. It also says this was unveiled by Jeff Duke OBE on the 5th of June 2005, we're talking TT, of course. We are indeed. Steve Hislop was a champion, a world champion, I think, from recollection. Uh, we're in a... It, it's a newly created garden where there used to be a garden. Uh, we're at the junction of Hague Crescent, which is a, a road which most people don't know the name of. In fact, it probably hasn't got a name <laughs> right. on it. No. Uh, where it meets Imperial Terrace. Imperial Terrace is now this large block of apartments, which no doubt we will do on Kelly's Eye one day. Yeah. And um, the, the whole of the garden has been totally revamped uh, and was a bit like Charlie Dimmock and Ground Force was finished just in time for the unveiling of the statue um, on Mad Sunday 2005. Now, the thistle and the three legs, you say, are significant. The thistle, obviously, is uh, a Scottish connection. Isn't it? Well, that's, of course, where he was born. He was born in the Scottish border town of Hoyk um, and chose Onken as his home latterly. I think he lived in two different places in Onken. Uh, and unfortunately, of course, he was killed not riding his, his motorbike, but, in fact, in a helicopter accident. And... The race fans wanted to commemorate him, so there was subscriptions, etc. Sufficient money raised, in fact, to pay for two statues, and one is going to be erected also in, in Hoyk. Um, locally, Jim Davison, I think, was coordinating, and he contacted me to see if the commissioners um, had anywhere in Onken where the statue could go. The family didn't particularly want it to be on the TT course. Uh, because they didn't want the TT course to end up as a series of memorials, mm. which, of course, is not the best of things. Plus the fact they wanted it where people could see it and the family could visit it. Uh, and so they suggested Port Jack Glen, and I said, well, you know, it's a bit out of the way there, nobody's going to see it. How about this site? Because at that time, when the approach was made, Summerland uh, was under discussion for being the site of the famous but never happened TT Museum yes. or the TT Experience and so it would have been ideal of course overlooking that but equally in this position you can see the statue from the promenade or part of the promenade you come along and for the family's sake of course it's not far away from from home so the only problem was the, the corner site Hartford Homes who were building this large block of apartments had also approached the commissioners and said um, can we use your garden to put all our site huts on and when we're finished we will do up your garden completely mm -hmm. so the two were merged and consequently we've got a rather nice area just waiting for the seats I think there are yes four. I was going to say it would be improved with a couple of seats yeah there, well I think there's four seats uh, going to come in total certainly two there um, because the view from here is good I mean on the day we're in just look behind it's a fantastic view deep blue sea and the sky a most terrific view. The whole sweep of the promenade there. That's it, yes. Uh, all the development going on, gaps and gaps being filled and, and, and so on. So it, it is a marvellous sight and the statue, of course, I haven't said, there's a chap called uh, Anand is his, uh, his surname, who was the um, sculptor David Anand and he um, is also doing the other statue, which is... Uh, is going in Scotland and I think that's later this year that yeah. that will be um, be unveiled. Yeah. To complete the picture of course there are two large plaques there, one a, a little about Steve Hislop's life and the other one his uh, race successes. Listing all the, all the victories, his Isle of Man TT victories and his other major victories. Yeah.